Right now, hundreds from across the low country and the nation are gathered at Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant to honor and celebrate the life of Charleston Police Chief Luther Reynolds. The ceremony got underway about an hour ago at 11 this morning. Chief Reynolds died last Monday from cancer at the age of 56. He served as the city's police chief for five years. I just want to show you a live look inside of the church now where that ceremony is underway. At the podium speaking now is the chief of Melbourne, Florida. Several other people, law enforcement agencies that the chief has worked with and been affiliated with are on the program to speak along with members of his family and the community. Let's listen in for just a moment. All right, we don't have audio right now, but again, this is a police chief, chief from Melbourne, Florida. Just moments ago, we heard from the brother of Chief Luther Reynolds. Our Michael Higdon is also there live from the church with more on what we've seen and who we've heard from so far. Roth, it all started uh, at 10 o'clock this morning at the McAllister Smith Funeral Home in West Ashley. The procession left from there, went through downtown Charleston over the Ravenel Bridge and ended right here at Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant off of Long Point Road. I would say dozens, if not hundreds of uh, first responders and law enforcement personnel lined these sidewalks and lanes here at Seacoast. Taps played as the hearse arrived and Chief Reynolds casket was brought into the church. First responders from all over the low country and the nation are here, including from Horry County, Goose Creek, Myrtle Beach, Mount Pleasant, Charleston County, Montgomery County Police in Maryland, the Ports Authority here in Charleston, Dorchester County, North Charleston Police, and then fire and police obviously from the city of Charleston and the Charleston City Administration. I want to give you a live look inside the ceremony right now. It started with video sound from Reynolds himself with pictures playing with a welcome message from him to the city of Charleston Police Department and talking about how much he loved this city. Police Chief Luther Reynolds died on May 22nd from cancer at the age of 56 after an aggressive treatment that included surgery to amputate one of his legs and chemotherapy. He returned to the job in February of 2022. Reynolds died at an area hospice a facility with his wife Caroline and his two children Luke and Grace by his side. But one thing that didn't falter in all of this was his gratitude. One thing that stands out to me as I think about my relationship with chief is his gratitude. Even after he got sick, uh, he was so grateful uh, for the way that people loved him. Well, Chief Reynolds was the police chief here in Charleston for five years. Lead uh, pastor here at Seacoast in Mount Pleasant, Josh Surratt, said today that we're going to laugh a little bit, we're going to cry a little bit, and we're going to grieve. But as Christians, we are going to grieve and hope that one day we will see Chief Reynolds again in heaven. If you would like to watch his celebration of life ceremony right now, you can do so on live5news.com. Of course, we will have live team coverage as this continues throughout the afternoon. Reporting for uh, Live 5 News in Mount Pleasant, from Chief Reynolds uh, Celebration of Life. I'm Michael Higdon. Thank you, Michael, very much. And the Charleston community is saying its farewell to Police Chief Reynolds today. We've only had the pleasure of knowing him locally for five years, but he made such an impact on all of our lives. And of course, the men and women whom he led at the Charleston Police Department, they are grieving, but they really love their leader. I want to take another look at the celebration of life now happening inside of the church. And as Michael mentioned, if you would like to follow along in real time, you can check it out on our Live 5 News Facebook page. Go to our uh, website, live5news.com as well. We will have more on today's ceremony throughout the day.